I want to make a short video discussing some controversy with popular YouTube, RuneScape YouTube star, a friend. He's been around for years and years and years. I think he has almost 400,000 subscribers. You know, he's played all versions of the game. And uh, really, from his videos, you'd expect him to be a pretty uh, kind, friendly guy. His name is a friend, after all. I think it's an apt apt title for the fella. And people are really upset with him. People get really upset when someone takes a, um, a sponsorship uh, that they don't like. Um, usually, like a gambling one, people really are apprehensive about gambling sponsorships. I've seen a few small channels just get crushed because they took a gambling sponsorship like once. Um, there is this one, there is this one animator, a, a simple RS, I think that he had these short little two minute videos that were so cute and so fun. And then he did, he did an animation for one of these gambling RuneScape gambling companies. And they just went to shit. He's just gone. He's just gone now. And I don't, yeah, yeah, everyone's entitled to their opinion about, you know, if someone's selling out or if, you know, they think gambling is really wrong. And and I understand that, you know, and you, you really are entitled to your opinion. I'm not going to necessarily try to convince you otherwise, but I figured I'd share my sort of take on it. I really don't have a problem with people taking sponsorships whatsoever. I listen, you know, really, I think everyone, everyone's kind of annoyed with ads just in general. The type of ad doesn't really make too big of a difference to me. Um, I listen to a lot of video podcasts or just audio podcasts and it's, you know, it's maybe I'm just used to it, but they start playing an ad. I just click a little ahead and move through it. I've had ad block on YouTube for, you know, forever basically. And yeah, it, it just seems so minor to me. Uh, like, are you, you really making a moral judgment on this guy because he got a nice payout from some really profitable gambling company that, I don't know. It seems to be huge benefit for him and very little to no I'd say no impact on you when you can just, you know, click once to get past it. I mean, you you play RuneScape, so you're used to clicking a lot. You you can't skip the ad a little bit. And even if you say that's too much, you don't want to skip the ad. You can't just bear with the guy. You don't know what he's doing with that money. You you've followed the guy for years and you're not going to give him the benefit of the doubt like you don't know what he's doing with that. Who cares? And for, well, first of all, it doesn't matter what he's doing with that, in my opinion. But I mean, like he he could be trying to house his parents. You know, he could have a sick parent in a nursing home. That's really common. That's very common for people in their um, middle aged people or young middle aged people to start trying to earn more money to support their family. It's very common. So I I don't know. It just seems like people like to, you know, posture themselves as some really up, upright, upstanding moral citizen. It's like, really? You're, you're speaking, now you're really against gam gambling? Like, you, ga you think gambling's a huge problem with young people? I'm, I'm not going to say it's not a problem, you know. You know, it can definitely be a problem for young people, but you know, it's, it's about, it's in a video game. I mean, think about all the kids that aren't getting socialized because they play games too much, you know? Um, and I know you can socialize quite a bit in online video games. I know I do. I, I, you know, I'm a pretty big defender and proponent of online gaming and spending a lot of time, but to deny that there's some addictive you know, property to that. I mean, 
it, it seems like a very similar moral position that you could have, you know, sort of that it would translate very similarly between them where you would just say, well, you shouldn't make videos about games because there's a ton of people that are addicted to games. And, you know, spending your time doing something may be more damaging than just spending the money. I mean, you know, the, you know, time is money, but money is also just the, uh, you know, materialistic sort of, uh, manifestation of, of it, of your time, I, I guess, but maybe, maybe you see what I'm saying. I, I, I just think people, people are quick to have a moral outrage over just something so stupid. I mean, it's an ad. You like, have you ever turned on the television? I'm not, I'm not saying YouTubers should be like the television. So, so sorry, but I just don't, I don't see the big deal. I, I love a friend's videos. I followed him for ages. If I don't like a sponsorship that he takes, I simply don't buy the product. It's not a, it seems like such a no brainer. It's like, it's like people actually want to punish him. It's like people actually want to punish him. It's not just like, Oh man, I don't, I don't like the direction that's going or I don't like, um, I don't like his product. I want to punish him. And maybe, maybe that I'm just reading into it too much and people don't actually want to punish him. But that, just looking at some of the comments on his videos, like, and just the sheer amount of dislikes where, it's like they're clearly disliking the video for the ad that is, you know, one tenth of the video or less. They're not actually they're they're disliking the video because of that, not because of the ninety percent of it, which is why you came to the video in the first place. I mean it, I mean it's in the title too. It's not like you didn't know there was gonna be an advertisement in it. He put it in the damn title. You can't you, you know, why would you, why would you want to punish someone like that, man? It's like, I don't know. I guess I, those are just some of my thoughts on it. I, I don't particularly find anything morally wrong with gambling. You know, I think it's, I think it can be wrong to do just about anything. You know, if you, I mean, you can make a moral argument for just about anything where, you know, oh, you know, you could be spending your time better to help your family. You'd be spending your money better to help your community or help so-and-so. But gambling's entertainment. It's, and we're playing games. That's entertainment too. I mean, it's, it's real. It's, a, it's the real deal. I mean, it's real life. I don't, I don't know. I, maybe I'm just kind of repeating myself a lot, but it just, it just, you know, it's kind of sad seeing someone that you, you've, you know, you've grown up with for years making videos that you really like and people just take any opportunity to shit on him, like in a tidal wave of, of, uh, just vitriol. It's like, come on. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Yeah. So. I don't have too much else to say, but I just wanted to put a couple thoughts out there. I've, I've seen a couple videos sort of, you know, anti a friend, anti his sponsorship. I mean, maybe I'd feel differently if it was on every single one of his videos, you know, if he was doing that every single time, but like every once in a while putting an ad up like that, I mean, give me a break. It's not a big deal. And if you think it's a big deal, you got weird priorities, man. Yeah, so I I don't think I'm really gonna edit this much. I just I just had some thoughts floating around in my my head brain. Hope you guys you know can respect that there are people out there that might have a different opinion, you know. And I you know I. I don't want to come off like F you man, your opinion's garbage. I just have a different one. Uh, I just have a different opinion about it. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, 
try not to sweat the small stuff, you know? Don't be afraid to click ahead in an ad and uh, maybe give someone the benefit of the doubt sometime, you know? You know, I mean, maybe you don't have to start giving, you know, people online the benefit of the doubt. So, no, it's a good place to do it, but, you know, maybe at home, you know, maybe, maybe with one of your friends or, you know, someone waiting in line with you at the store that you think was being a little rude. Just give them the benefit of the doubt, man. You'll, you'll be happier. I guarantee it. You'll be happier if you give some people the benefit of the doubt. Um, and it's not like, uh, <laughs> it's, it's very rare that someone's actually going to be taking advantage of you like that. I mean, especially online here, like given the guy benefit of the doubt, there's, there's no downside for you doing that. There's no downside for you doing that. It's not like he's going to make you gamble. It's not like that that guy that you think was being kind of rude to you in line is going to take advantage of you repeatedly, you know, because you gave him the benefit of the doubt and just let him do his thing. Just, you know, chin up, y'all. Maybe go buy a scratcher ticket and see what the fuss is about. <laughs> I don't buy scratcher tickets. I don't gamble, but those are my thoughts on it. Oh, and if you've never been here before, check out some of my Iron Man videos. I'm over 2K total, and uh, yeah, just been having fun making little progress videos, having a good laugh. Take care, guys.